so uh, hello everybody. Um, welcome to the Cloud Kitty product update. My name is Luca Peschke. I'm the PTL for the Stein release. Uh, I've been contributing since Mitaka, and I've been a core since uh, three or four releases, I believe. Uh, you are a lot of people. Um, just for the record, who here is using or has used Cloud Kitty in the past? Could you please raise your hands? Nobody. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, that's actually a good thing. So, uh, what is Cloud Kitty? Cloud Kitty is a rating and a chargeback component for OpenStack. Um, it takes your Gnocchi or Monasca or Prometheus metrics and applies a rating rule to them, which get committed to a storage backend and are available for you to retrieve, uh, be grouped, and get a lot of nice uh, information. It is not a billing solution, which means you can't apply taxes with CloudKitty. You can convert euros to dollars. Uh, what we do is basically take your metrics, uh, collect them in the way you want, apply uh, rating rules to them, and generate uh, CSV records, which can be injected in your um, own homegrown billing solution or your whatever software you are using. We have um, a very basic uh, horizon integration and uh, more. Um, the more comes from the new storage backend, which will be introduced later. Um, we are compatible with uh, InfluxDB now, which means you, are, you can build um, Grafana dashboards for your customers or uh, internal teams, whoever you charge your um, cloud usage to. So the Rocky release has seen um, a few new features. Um, more important ones are the internal refactoring and the cleanup. So a lot of things have been uh, removed. So legacy code has been uh, removed, uh, like the Silometer collector. So you can't use the Silometer API anymore, which is deprecated since Okata, I believe. Um, the storage has been refactored, but we will uh, talk about this uh, later on. And a new client is available, uh, which is a Python library, should be easier to use, and uh, is integrated with the OpenStack client. So yes, if you see OpenStack rating, it's us. Uh, and most, of, uh, most important part, CloudKitty can be used in standalone mode now, which means you don't need um, an OpenStack cloud uh, and a Keystone endpoint to use CloudKitty. Uh, for example, a customer of our company has used Gnocchi in standalone mode with uh, VMware and a collector which pushed uh, VMware metrics into Gnocchi and CloudKitty was used to process these VMware metrics. But it could be anything. So any custom metrics which you push into Gnocchi or Prometheus or Modaska, but I, I don't know if people do this, uh, can be rated with CloudKitty, actually. What's upcoming for OpenStack Stein? Uh, a V2 storage interface. Uh, actually, this interface is available in um, Rocky, but you shouldn't use it. It's unstable. It's only for development purposes. It's meant to tackle the same issues the telemetry project encountered a while ago, which means we have a huge amount of data to store, and, uh, well, it causes problems, as always. So this backend aims at be more flexible on that side, and to do nice things like a filtering, grouping, um, saying what are my top 10 most expensive volumes for the given period on the, that domain, um, that kind of uh, queries. Which means we need a V2 API to expose um, this new internal format. Um, this API will be based on Flask rather than uh, Pecan, which will make uh, contributions a lot easier because everybody knows Flask. We will try to focus on the community. Uh, it, had been, it, had been a, it has been a subject uh, for the Stein cycle and will be important in the future. We would like to get more feedback and to make the community grow. So we would like to gain some contributors, to have uh, an external point of view, to have several uh, use cases, I don't know, a huge scale or a very specific rating or, well, we would like to have a bigger diversity and uh, contributors from all around the world. And there have always also been uh, improvements for the standalone mode. Um, the Prometheus collector, well, um, has, been, has been published. Uh, we now have a scope notion, 
In the past, you had to group your, your data on a tenant basis. Now that you can use CloudKit in the standalone mode, you can group your data on anything, domain, user, um, data center ID for huge people, anything. And there is a gnocchi fetcher, so that's something uh, very spe specific. Uh, basically, in the past, you had to apply the rating rule um, to the tenants you wanted to rate. Uh, now you can do a dynamic uh, tenant discovery through gnocchi, because in most clouds, people actually want to rate everything and e every new tenant which is created. So this can be done now when you use uh, gnocchi. Beyond time, um, the V2 API will be extended. Um, we want to extend it uh, slowly, so endpoint for endpoint. And we would like people to make their contributions to well, tell us about their needs and to add their endpoints which match their needs or demands. And uh, once this V2 API is considered complete and stable in a few releases, it will become the default. And yes, and we will deprecate the V1 API. We would like to create a new rating model. Um, the funny thing is when you talk to different customers, each one has his idea of what is um, an intuitive API uh, to push rating rules. And uh, everybody sees this thing differently. So um, implementing a new rating model isn't really a technical challenge, but it is a human challenge because it's very hard to make something which is easy to use for everybody and uh, which e everybody um, understands easily. It will continue the um, focus on the community. Uh, we recently reintroduced the IRC meetings. We will push the usage of specs, which means every new feature will go through, uh, through a spec in the CloudKit specs repo. And uh, well, would like the changes to be really um, announced community-wide. We'll also make a heavy use of the mailing list, well, heavier use than uh, right now. And we have put some focus on the community goals, um, which means that we are Python 3 compatible. Uh, and we provide, well, cylinder review, but we shouldn't provide uh, upgrade checks. I don't know if you have heard about uh, that specific community goal. Um, for Stein, every project will provide an um, upgrade check tool, which will allow to verify if your deployment in version N um, is ready for an upgrade to version N plus one, or if you should uh, change things. If you'd like to give uh, feedback or to contribute, um, please remember that any contribution is welcome, which means you can code, you can review, but you can also tell us, uh, you can open bugs, you can tell us, okay, I have uh, this specific need, you can uh, work on the documentation, anything is actually a good contribution. We've got an onboarding session in room M1, which is in uh, this direction on this level um, at 5, 10 p.m. We are available on IRC on Freenode, um, we have a um, group on Storyboard, we use a Storyboard for reviews, um, et cetera. And uh, this is my personal email. And uh, well, CloudKitty at Objective Libre is uh, an alias to all the, to all the CloudKitty um, developers at uh, my company. Do you have any questions? I hope you do. Uh, there is a microphone here. Either use it or tell me your question. I will repeat it for the record. So what's the big difference to um, Cyclops that is also doing OpenStack billing metrics? So the question is, what is the big difference to Cyclops, which is also doing um, OpenStack building metrics? Um, CloudKitty is an old project, actually. It started in uh, Kilo, I believe. And it's a big time project, so it's an official uh, OpenStack project. And um, we actually want to be fully open source. So it's not to make money for our company. It's really to contribute to the OpenStack project, because that's how the company makes uh, its living. And uh, yes, basically we're completely open source and you can easily add your own rating model. Uh, if there are contributors and OpenStack dev developers here, uh, you probably have heard of Steve Door. Any component, rating model, collector, storage backend is loaded with Steve Door, which allows you to write your own storage backend, collector, rating model, API, whatever. This is uh, from other question. Yes? Uh, can you use uh, Prometheus and Highly for data collection? Or can you use uh, uh, CloudKitty with 
So the question was, can you use only Prometheus for data collection? Yes, you can use uh, CloudKitty outside of OpenStack in standalone mode, uh, collect all your rating information from uh, Prometheus and push it to um, the storage backend, which is for the moment either V1 SQL Alchemy or V2 InfluxDB, uh, which gives you all the nice V2 API features and uh, Grafana integration. No other questions? Yes? Uh, is the integration with Monasca production ready? Um, so the question was if the Monasca integration is production ready. We tested it in production at the small scale. Um, so about a thousand instances and uh, 30 hypervisors. So it's running, um, it was backported to Mitaka in an um, HPE context, so uh, HP Helion. Um, it is, but uh, if you want to deploy it, we are on IRC and um, tell us how it goes for you and we would be glad to um, maintain this uh, Monasca integration. The Monasca guys have been really helpful on IRC when we coded this, so. Any further question? Well, thank you very much, and I hope to see you at the project onboarding.